And it all starts here from turn two. And we'll study very carefully the amount of water on the road out there at the moment. And the main aim of the game here will be to make sure that everything is working correctly and not to put too much risk in. If you feel confident and the car balance is good, you can press on with it. You might try and achieve something at the time, but it is certainly a moment out there at the moment to tread warily. Craig Lowndes going off the road, for instance. Oh, locked wheel. Oh, that was a nasty moment. Is LeBrock in that or young Aaron? It's Aaron Seaton. It's Aaron, yes. Yeah, so I, I couldn't pick whether it was Aaron, but he... He was sideways, he gathered it up nicely. There's a big slide here for James Moffat. And Moffat did a really good job in the wet session. So this is clever. One of the things that traps you or can trap you is as you leap in, having wet shoes and slipping off the brake pedal because no, most of the competitors actually have a metal fabric that runs across the top of the pedal itself. And there's a couple of different yep. styles. It's sort of a uh, knurled metal piece that sits over the brake pedal and tries to give okay. you some grip to pedal. your boot. But if you get in and your foot is wet, the propensity to fall off or just slip off with the amount of braking force that you've got is very easy to do. So this is a place that you do not need to slip off the brake pedal. It came out and spread a little. And what it did was it made the track crazy grippy. And Garth being a wily fox, was pretty sharp at using all of it to maximum advantage. He drove the car brilliantly and the car was good, so Shane not happy there with the coat car. Chris Pither, I think, at the helm at the time, up at the top of the hill. And he punched out a two minute 4.1, which to this point in the weekend for Garth Tand has been the fastest lap of the weekend by a chunk. So pretty impressive. Car number two wanders down the escape road towards Bathurst, Warren Love. Four time winner of the race. He's got a huge muscle memory around here, but there's such a vastly different car as they've evolved over, evolved over the years. It's been an impressive campaign so far this weekend. And Murphy actually did a 5.8. He did the fastest time he's ever done around this place earlier in the weekend, which was a great moment for Greg, given that we've seen his Prow West in qualifying and his pole position in 2003. But to be able to come here, grab the thing by the scruff of the neck and do a time in the fives, is pretty impressive. <laughs> Very wise. Yeah. 2 minutes 22.4 is the fastest time that was achieved in car number 17 by the brothers Davison. Alex Davison, the brother of Will, has had an unbroken record of success at this place with a 100% finish rate. It's been a fantastic performance. So looking down the order, Davison, Holdsworth, uh, O'Keefe, these are the drivers that are in the car at the end. Courtney Tander, Brown, Lowndes, Waters, Fullwood and Coulthard at the top 10. Big spread of time, which you would expect in the warm-up. Remembering this year, we've got 28 entries. We've got three wild cards in the field, 56 drivers. The warm-up is done and dusted. Next up, later this morning, the Repco Bathurst 1000.